Okay, so once again, class, good day. Now we are going to discuss the testing of ships building a material. First, metals are tested to ensure that their strength, ductility, and toughness are suitable for the function. They are required to conform. In comparing the strengths of various metals, stresses and strengths are often referred to and required to be defined. Stress is a measure of the ability of a material to transmit a load and the intensity of stress in the material, which is the load per unit area. Is often stated. The load per unit area is simply obtained by dividing the applied load by the cross-sectional area of the material. For example, if a stencil load of P kilogram is applied to a rod having a cross-sectional area of E millimeter square, then the tensile stress in the material of the rod is P over A kilogram over millimeter square. See figure 7.1. Okay, this shows the straight line relationship, for example, direct proportionality between stress and strain up to the elastic limit. Okay, elastic limit. Total strain is defined as the total deformation which a body undergoes, which subjected to an applied load. The strain is the deformation per unit length or unit volume. For example, if the tensile load P applied to the rod of original length produce an elongation or extension of the rod, of amount. Then the tensile strain to which the material of the rod is subjected is given by the extension per unit. For example, extension over original length or extension over length. Okay, okay we can see on our figure here at Figure 7.1 Stress strain relationship of shipbuilding materials. Okay, what is this? This is the yield stress, the P, the extension lane, no extension lane, the E, ultimate tensile stress, stress P over A, it's a mild steel, no mild steel, ultimate tensile stress. Yield stress is the where the point will yield here. Yeah. Ultimate tensile stress, problem. stress, yeah, 1% of strain. Kita natin yung material with no distinct yield point. Ito dito, may yield point siya. Ito, walang yield point dito sa area na to. So, strength, extension, and overlap. Okay, so as we go, since stress is directly proportional to strain, the stress is equal to a constant. It is in fact that the slope of the straight line part of the paragraph and is given by A constant equal to stress divided by strain no? as you can see a the stress and the strain no? okay stress and strain okay so a to a a is constant equal to stress divided by strain this constant is referred to as young modulus for the metal and is denoted an e for mild steel, its value is approximately 21,100 kg millimeter square or 
tons millimeter square. Yeah. Okay, so ito converted lang ito, kilogram to tons. No? Okay. The yield stress per meter corresponds to the stress at the yield point. That is the point at which the metal no longer behaves elasticity. So no more elasticity, no? Pagka nagkaroon ka ng yield point, parang yun yung babalot na talaga doon sa area na yan. Ultimate tensile stress is the maximum load to which the metal is subject divided by the original cross-sectional area. Okay. Ultimate tensile stress, makikita natin yun. Ayan, no? Yun yun. Ito, no? Wala nang elasticity nung makal. Matanggal na kasi nagkaroon siya ng yielding stress. Okay, so go. Beyond the yield point, the metal behaves plastically, which means that the metal deforms at a greater and proportional rate when the yield stress is exceeded. Kung yung yield stress niya ay uh, sobrahan niya, then wala na na sira na yung formation ng metal. And will not return to its original dimension or removal of the load. load no? Wala na. It becomes deformed or is often said to be permanently set. Mga bago na yung, ano niya, yung form niya. Hindi na siya babalik sa original form. Okay, so I hope you understand the topic. This uh, topic will be on our next discussion. Okay.